Pflugerville is a town that's, that was originally founded in the late 1800s by some uh, German immigrants. We're situated just between uh, the city of Austin and the city of Round Rock. We actually call ourselves the city between a rock and a weird place. Over the last two decades, we've gone through an incredible growth spurt. In the year 2000, we had about 16,000 residents. Today, we have just under 50,000. As new people are moving into the area, they need services and they have options. If they don't have an option here locally, then they're going to go elsewhere. The campaign for the city of Pflugerville is to come home to shop. And part of that means you have to provide the services that the residents are demanding to keep them in your local market. Many times people have asked me why would we incentivize retail when you live in a community of 50,000 and yet you have to drive 30 minutes to get to a Target that's not a good quality of life. And so the city council made the decision that incentivizing that retail was a quality of life issue. They created an incentive program that justified to Cinemark to come now versus in the future, which was a conduit to allow us to bring additional restaurants, which was a needed service to the city of Pflugerville. It is a great example of public and private partnership the Stonehill Town Center for the city of Pflugerville is a big deal. It's going to be 8118, please. And this is the first year in Pflugerville's history that more than 50% of our income is not coming from property taxes. This year, 51% is coming from sales tax, fees, all the other potential revenues that we have instead of just property tax. That's a big deal for us. Here in Pflugerville, we're just a great place to do business. Uh, we have a business, a pro-business uh, city council. We have a deregulated energy market, and we're located right in the best, the best spot in the best state in the best country in the world. We just landed a data center. Uh, which will be storing data for different corporations. It's about a $250 million project in the first phase uh, with the chances to go to a billion dollars. And by and what those dollars represent are actual ad valorem taxes. A variety of reasons why Pflugerville is uh, the best place for data centers in Central Texas. Um, first and foremost, uh, it is a city that understands business. To be successful in economic development, you have to have political leaders that understand um, the long-term dynamics of economic development, that they know how to incend it, and uh, they also know how to smoothen out all the challenges that come with uh, picking a location. And uh, Pflugerville definitely understands all these challenges and is, and is there, right there ready to meet them. When I talk to businesses, what I try to express to them is that their employees will have an incredible quality of life because they live right next to this metropolitan area. As a corporation, they want to look at us because we're going to partner with them, we're going to bring a lot of value to the proposition, and we are going to be aggressive in doing what we need to do to make them feel like they are important corporate citizens. The PCDC Business Park is a office, industrial, and retail center that we expect to be our greatest employment center here in the city of Pflugerville. We have an emphasis on green uh, energy in that park and we expect that to be a great economic driver for the community in the future. It has everything from reuse water, most of the buildings will be LEED certified. Um, it has the op op opportunities for both uh, natural gas, clean energy, as well as solar and uh, wind power uh, within the park itself. We decided about three years ago that we were going to push for green initiatives. We looked at it from a business standpoint and we felt like we could find a niche within that particular community. The solar sail is a kind of, it's, a, it's the first of its kind in the country. It is a thin film solar paneled electric car charging station. It's up and operating today, works great. You can charge a car there rapidly and it's right at the front of our, our green energy park. Well, Pflugerville is a great place to work because of the small community feel, but big town atmosphere. People are able to come into Pflugerville, start up a business, have the support of the local government from permitting all the way down to the Chamber of Commerce, reaching out to them and helping to drive their business, educate the people, and everybody wants to keep, keep businesses here locally. And that's really the initiative of Come Home to Shop. We want Pflugerville to remain small and yet have access to big, and that's exciting that we think we can pull that off.